absolutely so i think the net net takeaway is the fact that uh, you know what we were expecting in terms of a dismal number when it came to equity inflow for the month of april hasn't really come through at this point in time so the figure stands at around 4608 crores versus expectations of uh, even as low as around 1000 odd crores sunil subramaniam joins in uh, to discuss this he's from sundaram mutual fund uh, sunil your first thoughts especially on the equity figure which stands at 4609 crores i think it's a very healthy figure uh, because if you compare that uh, the last month the elss numbers were higher and this month there is no elss uh, significant impact and of notable feature here is that small and mid cap put together as a category has got almost 1500 crores out of the photo so 30% of the flows so clearly there is a re- increasing risk appetite among the investor hmm. that i see here which is fairly evident aha uh-huh. uh the uh, do you have the fact sheet in front of you sunil yeah i have it in front of so me. the disclo- the way the numbers are disclosed is all changed now right it's a new look no, that it's that's i think the two things one uh-huh. is the beginning of a financial year second right. now that the sebi classification are there right. amfi has decided to have a proper comparison because uh-huh. then it will make meaningful sense so okay. from now on every month you can actually see whether investors are investing in diversified funds or more riskier funds where they are putting the money i think mm. it's a much more useful report so uh, i mean that i guess the amfi always has the data but it's 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 out in the it, they're releasing it now properly in terms of uh, uh, different classifications so the equity scheme the number to compare is 4000 just confirming 46 or 9 crores right uh, the equity oh, yeah. equity plus equity exactly. elss and the march com- march number was 11756 right that's the right. number okay yeah i'm just getting my team to do the comparison right because uh, but 46 or 9 crores is the equity equity category the uh, total equity uh, inflow yeah but i think balanced yeah. funds were included in equity in okay. the previous month uh no i think that class that classification happened uh, balanced funds we we always look at uh, sort of uh, separately okay uh, so balanced fund in in the month of march was minus 3181 crores Uh, and okay. yeah and this this time also balanced funds have seen a outflow right i mean the number is 2000 121 crores yeah mm-hmm. correct so correct. Uh, the, it's it was a bigger outflow last month and so it's outflow still but a smaller outflow in, in this month right yes correct just You're a quick right. question on the equity side many uh, people that i spoke to said that up till the 27th or 28th of last month figures were i mean uh, the even the cams data which is pretty representative of the overall fund size was showing a 1000 odd crore figure so this is a big jump i mean any any reason any explanation behind that sunil uh i i would say that uh, some institutional money uh, flows into multi cap funds would hmm. happen probably at the end hmm. and even the small cap allocation is a is a hni allocation you know when they take a tactical call hmm so i think the correction in the see mid cap index went up in march came down in april there was a negative mm. so there are uh, people smart investor i mean or smart i'm using with a very cautious ma- methodology but the guy who wants to move in whenever their index valuation is uh, better i think that's th- that they probably explains this that few hni persons had uh, made the small cap call with the correction for the month Okay, uh, so we'll just hold that thought. Um, I wanted your thoughts with regards to the mid-cap fund inflow that we've seen for this uh, month as well. But I'm just going to quiz you on that in just a bit. We have Vishal Kapoor, CEO of IDFC AMC, who's joining in on the line as well. Uh, Vishal, are you pleasantly surprised with the equity inflow? Yeah, I think uh, strong inflows, and more importantly, I think the SIP inflows hmm. uh, in particular. i think reflect the strong underlying retail participation that we've been seeing for some time uh so yes uh, i think strong numbers overall hmm but this number is uh, these april numbers are completely comparable to the previous month numbers uh by and large i would think uh, uh you know of course i'm i'm uh, first talking about only equity because hmm. on the fixed income side there tends to be larger variations between march and april hmm uh but on the equity side i would think uh, you know april was a month with uh, more holidays including the some of the election related uh, sort of holidays so on a working day basis i would think that these are uh, fairly strong numbers like i mentioned there are two underlying themes if i were to try and interpret a bit more uh, into the, into this one clearly the domestic participation through retail uh, you know sip flows uh seems to have uh, i think uh, become even stronger 
in April. Uh, the second is uh, when we look at the uh, participation in equity inflows, uh, it's not just multi-caps but also small and mid-caps which have seen uh, significant participation. So at one end while uh, for some time uh, you know, we've seen the rally in the mega cap and the large cap stocks, uh, clearly one segment of the market seems to start believing that uh, you know, mid and small offers some opportunities if we were to look at the uh, net inflows in these two segments of the market. Mm. Okay, there is a statement by uh, from Amphi, uh, which I think the call is on, uh, and I think uh, actually can we cut to the Amphi call? I mean, if we can, we'd like to do that because uh, the uh, the statement said that uh, this uh, April number cannot be compared with the March number because of different categorization. I think that was mm. what the number said, uh, what the flash said. Sunil, you were saying that you were basically asking your team to take a look at the comparisons. Anything yeah. else? Uh, you, no, you know, Amphi said yeah. you can't compare. I don't know what, which, which number they're saying, talking about in terms of uh, non-comparison. But yeah, go ahead. Well, no, I think what they mean is mm. that if you take a particular subheading here, right. there won't be comparable last mm. month. But if you take the total, as Prashant you did, right. that should be comparable because it's not as if something can jump from equity into debt. Right. You see that so the total equity number should tally with the total equity number of last six months. Mm. So I don't think. It's a dispute. The point is, you pick a large pack number, you won't have a comparable large cap for last month because they haven't published. Ah, uh, okay, that is that is fine. I mean, <laughs> okay, because I mean, the, uh, the previous number wasn't there for comparison. I mean, it was not in the public yeah. domain, so there's no comparison exactly. in that sense. Okay, but the exactly. total number, we're okay. We're on sound footing there uh, when we yes. compare total equity to uh, total equity last month. Uh, okay. uh, 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 Sunil, while this is definitely a surprise, a, a positive surprise, the 4600 crore number for April, it is still a, still the lowest in many, many months. Can we just talk a little bit about the reasons behind this uh, absolute soft number? I mean, compared to yes. expectations, better, but still uh, pretty yeah. soft. Yeah. So, so I have a thought process there. Mm. What I see is that this particular month, because of the proximity of the election, mm. A general investor investing in equity has actually come down, okay? But a smart investor who is looking at value pockets is actually putting money. And let me substantiate that with my analysis, mm. where if you look at it, you take the large cap funds, mm. that's only 48 crores, okay? Mm. Hardly anything into large cap, which is a generic category. Mm. But mm. where is the money gone? Mid cap and small cap put together 1500. Sectoral funds, which are high risk, high reward, 500 mm. crores. Mm. Okay, focused funds, which are again hitting at certain pockets, right? 30 mm. stocks only, 200 crores. Mm. So you add those 400 plus 500 of small mid cap, 1500, another 1500 of uh, of uh, sectoral funds, mm. and another 200 of this. 2,500, more than 50% of the flow mm. has been money which is looking at the opportunistic space and putting in money, mm. whereas uh, generically the large cap uh, category, which would ideally large cap, large and mid cap. Mm. Is not getting the flow, and at the same time, the high volatility means that arbitrage funds have seen 1500 crores of flows. So, you see, it's actually the volatility is putting off a general investor, but the volatility is actually telling the risk, risk comfortable investor that he's putting it in the actual risk bet, mm -hmm. and the others are into arbitrage, which benefits from volatility. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sunil, you know the SIP numbers have held steady for many months now, but are you expecting it to probably change as we head towards more of a volatile period when it comes to the global markets as well as elections? Uh, I don't think there will be a significant change. On the contrary, uh, the uh, election result, if it's uh, positive for continuity of the government, I would say would see a, a more increase because see, whatever volatility is there in the SIP flows is because one year SIPs as they mature, right, those people are probably delaying it. Uh, mm. Five year SIP, ten year SIP, I don't see any much instance of people uh, closing it earlier than their maturity. Mm. Are you getting me? Mm. So, so, one year maturity was there last month, people say let me wait before I start my new SIP. Okay. So that delta would actually pick up actually post election. Okay, all right, uh, fair enough. I think uh, do we have uh, Vishal uh, still with us? Uh, uh, Vishal, uh, any 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 other comments? Any other sort of uh, thoughts on the data? You've had, some, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I think uh, the other aspect is really on the fixed income side. Uh, you know, significant net inflows, which mm -hmm. was anticipated, expected. 
and uh, fundamentally the theme of most investors uh, remaining in the short end uh, largely between cash and ultra short and short term funds mm. uh, seems to be continuing for now mm. uh, i would include arbitrage growth almost in that same category which is keep uh, money uh, near term and liquid in high quality assets mm. almost as if su to suggest that you know once we see a more longer term investment opportunity come through mm. this money might re deployed uh, into into those uh, opportunities uh, so i i would think about it as you know overall growth suggesting that therefore the industry is still in uh, in in you know growing in in the right manner mm. uh, sip growth keeping uh, the the sort of faith intact mm. and mm. Uh, some pockets of opportunity that some smart investors seem to be looking at already which is in the small and and mid and the tactical sure. opportunities and thematics etc sure. uh, but the large bulk of money really being in the uh, the short or very ultra short term categories uh, may be waiting to get deployed fair enough ashish somaya of motila lospal is also uh, joining us now uh, ashish uh, thanks for uh, taking the call uh, the equity number comes as a, a positive surprise uh, to you Yeah, I mean, definitely it's better than what I would have feared mm. uh, because uh, anecdotal discussions were not looking that great. Mm. So, if I were to actually slice and dice, I mean, uh, when you look at the equity net flow across different categories of equity funds, you see the equity net flow, mm. and when you add up what has happened in balanced as a category and uh, ELSS as a category, so if I do all the summation, I think about twenty-two hundred crore net. Uh, is the equity flow mm. there is yet another trend change which i'm seeing here is that typically you know because of the cpsc etf kind of launches and because of the epfo consistently putting money in say uh, the nifty product mm. if you see the passives were consistently getting uh, a lot of money mm. uh, what i'm seeing for the first time is that the entire etf flow is also net negative i mean that is a uh, which is that 42 30 crores uh or, or yes yes okay yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay. that is a I, I, that's probably among the first time in the recent past that I'm seeing that number to be negative. Mm -hmm. uh, and but that is mainly populated by CPSC and the and the EPFO uh, contribution. Okay. All right. That's from uh, our retail perspective, what we yeah. tend to always look at is equity balance and the NSO, and that addition comes up to about twenty two hundred crores net. Okay. All right, Ashish. We're going to leave it on that note. Thanks for joining in with your quick thoughts and on that. Uh, and before we go, I think Sunil Subramaniam wants to leave, leave us with some quick thoughts. Uh, Sunil, go ahead. Uh, just that uh, the credit risk fund, the recent events around the defaults and the delays in payments are reflecting in a thousand two hundred crore negative. So people are pulling money out of credit risk funds. Hmm. I think that's noted. There's yeah. a twelve fifty three crore negative there, which is natural because people are a bit wary of the credit risk side now. Okay, that point is actually extremely important and taken on board. So the credit risk funds have seen an outflow of around twelve hundred crores for the month of April. And on that note, we have to actually wrap up on half time report. We're going to on trading hour. We're going to thank all our uh, guests. Ekta, just a quick word. And While we were on the mutual fund figure, the market has sold off, right? I mean, we were on the cusp of coming back into the green. We are down about forty five points on the Nifty now. So, and the Bank Nifty recovery is also, uh, you know, it's been sold into a little bit. The Bank Nifty itself, which was in the green already is now down 45 points so uh, that's the market picture for you at this point z though and a couple of other sr uh, so sl group companies have uh, extended gains dish tv is the other one which is picked up as well so we'll uh, throw more color on the market uh, action in just a bit for make the me everyone on the team thank you very much for staying with us there's more coming up on half time report